welcome back to another video long time no talk and I apologize so basically this video is just me kind of explaining where I've been what I've been going through and just to kind of give you guys an explanation of why I've been gone for so long but the first thing that we need to get out in the open and address the elephant in the room and it is my hair I chopped it off actually yesterday. Um, I'm filming this on the 11th and I got my hair done yesterday. I'm actually going to go back and we're doing something. I can't remember what the girl said. We're, I don't know, we're going to try and make this a little, I don't know. I basically told her that I wanted my grays to be easily blended in with my hair. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do something. But I told her yesterday, I was like, I just want to chop it off because my hair is just getting out of control um, and it looks so much healthier. I feel so much lighter even though the scales didn't say so. Um, but yeah, I got my hair cut and I'm loving it for now. So yeah, this is what my hair is now. So I just wanted to, I don't know, address it. I don't know. And also my red grad shirt. I, I'm sorry. I just had to mention that as well. I don't know. I feel like someone's gonna comment about my red grad shirt. I'm an honey's baby at heart, guys. So anyways, I just want to get into the bulk, the meat and potatoes of this video, and it's basically just addressing why I've been gone for so long and apologizing for that. Um, a lot of you, I'm, honestly, I can honestly say I'm surprised. Like, I know a lot of you guys, like, watch my videos and stuff, um, but I was never really under the impression that I really mattered to any of you guys, and I'm not saying that that's on you, um... But that's just kind of like how I was feeling. I was just, I don't know. I've just been going through this slump where I just, I don't know, when, when quarantine hit, I was still making videos. It doesn't seem like anybody was really interested in watching what I was putting out because I wasn't able to make any raid on hauls. And that's basically the majority of the videos that you guys like to see. Um, so I was trying to make some sort of content that you guys liked and it seemed like it was... Anything that you guys really liked, I wasn't getting a lot of views, and to be honest, I was just like, I was feeling a little discouraged, and I think every YouTuber kind of goes through that, and I wouldn't even consider myself a YouTuber, but, I mean, I do create videos, and I love creating videos, but I also want to create videos that you guys like, um, I want to create videos that you guys like, so when I'm thinking I'm creating something that you guys are wanting to watch, and the views aren't there, it's just like, dang, like, what's going on, so... That's part of it, but just to kind of summarize, so I made notes on my phone, so if I reference it from time to time, that's why. I just want to make sure that I'm getting through, like, everything. Um, and I can't say that anything, like, really significant happened. It's just quarantine happened. So, as most of you guys know, I was working at another company, and um, I had mentioned in one of the last videos that I filmed that I got a new job and you guys I love my new job I love it so much I love the company I love the people that I work with I love it so much but back then like a couple months I say back then like it was like years ago but at this point it feels like it but um back three months ago I was very angry I was just an angry person and I hated myself for it um I just noticed myself acting out I just had an attitude problem and um I just honestly was affecting my marriage like Connor and I were fighting like crazy um, and I was like you know what I don't want this to affect my marriage anymore clearly there's something that I need some sort of guidance and some sort of help so I, I decided to go to the doctor and she put me on an antidepressant to help with my mood swings and um, I was on that in the beginning of quarantine so back in like April um, I was on it for a couple of weeks and the, the pharmacist said that I wasn't going to feel anything or it wasn't really going to affect me for a couple of weeks after my body kind of got used to the hormones and everything that was happening. So I was still kind of angry. I did feel myself, um, feel a little bit better. I was a little bit more mellow. I didn't find things to anger me as much. So that was a good thing. I really, really like that. Um, but other than that, during quarantine, I got <laughs> what the beginning of quarantine. It was like right when I started at my new job, I got a puzzle from one of the new girls. It was a 2000 piece puzzle and I have an obsessive personality. So 
I, as soon as I started it, I needed to finish it. So I literally dedicated like a week of my time to finish that puzzle. And I will insert a picture here because I had to take a picture because I was so proud of it. Because all the girls at work um, said that they couldn't, they couldn't do it. And that's why I made it like a mission of mine to get this stupid puzzle done. Um, so that literally consumed my life. And I just, I get into these weird behaviors where I'm just like, I was so mindset on finishing that puzzle that I just shut everything out of my life. Like I just didn't do anything besides that stupid puzzle. Um, and that was in the beginning of quarantine. That's kind of when I started my medication. And I, like I said, I didn't know who was a like, part of the medication because it was still so early on. Like, I couldn't really tell. Um, but yeah, so that took a lot of time. <sighs> and a lot of my attention, um, like I said, I'm just a little bit crazy and psycho when it comes to puzzles. Like, I love them. After I was done with that, I was like, I never want to see a puzzle, like, at least for a year. So that was part of the reason why I kind of became absent. And then because of my medication, I, um, and I don't know if it was because of my medication or because of my job, but I really wanted to focus on my job and try and really understand my, um, my role and basically my job. Like I, it's completely different. It's completely different. So right now I'm a mortgage loan processor and like a couple months ago, I was just signing out initial disclosures for loan packages. So what I'm doing now is completely different. It's a lot more knowledge that I need. Um, so it's a completely different role. So I really wanted to focus on understanding my role. Um, and I didn't really want any distractions if that were, if that doesn't make sense. So when I started with my new job, um, they had closed down the office. So I was forced to work from home and I was working from home up until last week, actually, I started back in the office on Jan I want to say January, July 6th. Um, but I was basically working from home every day. And I, again, I don't know if it was the medication that had something to do with it or quarantine or what, but I was, I am still even very, very lethargic. I didn't want to wake up. I just wanted to sleep all the time. And I know that was like one of the side effects of the medication, but I feel like that was coinciding with also just working from home. So basically I was just rolling out of bed, walking downstairs, making a cup of coffee, making sure the dogs were fed. And then I went upstairs and went to work. So because I was working from home, there was really no reason for me to get ready. And I just felt like that was kind of like a mood changer. Like almost like I didn't have anything to look forward to if that were to make sense and I'm sure a lot of you guys understand what I'm talking about but so because of that I I just I, I felt tired I just felt unmotivated and I just didn't want to make videos I didn't want to look like a sack of potatoes and make a video for you guys and have you guys not even watch it so again it was just a lot of emotions going into creating and I just felt like I needed to like take some time for myself, I guess. I don't, I don't even know. I feel like a lot of it had to do with the medication and me working from home. So basically, I want to say maybe it was two and a half, three weeks ago, I did stop taking that medication, not because I wanted to, because I really, really liked the way that it was making me feel, um, other than being like super tired. But again, I don't know if it's the medication or just like working from home that I was feeling very very fatigued but um i stopped taking my medication because the doctors requested that i got a blood test um just to make sure that there wasn't any underlying um uh, medical issues that i have i still haven't gotten that done and part of me part of it is because of my fault but part of it is like i just don't feel comfortable going to get a blood test because it's a it's in a facility i'm sure there's a lot of sick people that go and get blood work done and i just don't want to put myself in that kind of sit, like situation so i've just kind of been um avoiding going to get my blood work done covid is a thing right now and i don't want to intentionally risk um getting it going to a lab office to get blood work done so with that being said i my my doctor wouldn't refill my prescription. She did one time, but 
I was hoping that by the time that like my second prescription was refilled, things would kind of let up and because it's summertime you think that viruses die during the summertime. Well, that's not the case with um, Mr. COVID-19. So I did not get a refill for my uh, prescription. So I kind of quit cold turkey and you guys, I felt like garbage. I felt like garbage. I literally just started feeling good maybe four days ago. I felt so nauseous. I felt like I had vertigo and it almost got to the point where I thought I was pregnant because I was like, the, the, it almost feels like I was seasick, like I was motion sickness and I was just so nauseous all the time, but like I never got, I never got sick, but I just did not feel good. I felt like I was stoned. I felt like I had spins. It was terrible and I did not like it. So at this point, I don't even know if I want to go back on medication because just stop like just being on it for two months and quitting it cold turkey and me feeling like that for two weeks it was bad like I I honestly am like getting sick just thinking about it and like there are some times where I'm like oh my gosh like, I still kind of feel that way but it's more just like in my head like I don't actually feel like nauseous but it's like if I move my head too fast like I feel like it's like my mind trying to catch up with like my sight so that made me feel terrible it it made me even more tired than I was, which I didn't even know was possible to be completely honest. But so I did stop taking that medication and honestly now I'm starting to see and feel me getting angry again. So I do need some sort of solution. So if you guys have any possible solutions to dealing with anger, kind of like medication of some sort, I, I, I don't know if meditation will honestly work for me. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below because... I need to do something because I'm just, I'm tired of being angry all the time. So tra I'm like transitioning now, the job that I have, we got approved to work from home. So I can't work from home, but I can't at the same time. So because I started with my job back in April, I need three full months of numbers to be able to qualify to work from home. Um, I only have like two full months. So technically like by the end of this month, I might be able to qualify to work from home, but even then, like, as I said earlier in the video, I don't know if I even want to because I feel like I need to get ready for my day to feel better about myself, to look forward to something. So I feel like that's part of the reason why I started, like, getting more into the group of things. Like, now that I'm at work, I kind of have something to prepare myself for, something to look forward to. Like, hey, can I, I can get dressed up, I can do my makeup, look like a decent human being for once so now I'm working from now I'm working in my office so I feel like that with not taking my medication anymore has made me feel a little bit better about making videos um I started to feel a little more like myself even though I'm still feeling like an angry individual um but yeah I know it's, it's basically just my mood I'm a, I'm a moody person. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I've just been going through like a lot of different um, phases of emotions and that's basically just what's been going on and why I just haven't really been motivated to make videos. So I hope that kind of explains things. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, thankfully, I have not been affected by COVID. Um, Connor hasn't, um, none of our family has, thankfully, and I really, really hope and pray that none of you guys have had to go through any sort of hardship due to, uh, this pandemic, but I just wanted to create this video to let you guys know, um, why I haven't been around, um, why I've been making videos, and should be making videos going forward, so this is, like, my hey, I'm back kind of video, um, and I apologize, and I am so thankful for everybody that's reached out to me in, on Instagram and on videos, like, asking where I've been and hoping that I'm doing okay. Obviously, I was just kind of going through some stuff, and I think everybody has the right to go through things and process it in their own time, um, but yeah, I just felt like I owed it to you guys to kind of give you an explanation and to let you guys know that you should be expecting videos from me soon. Um, but yes, if 
there is anything that you want specifically, please comment below. I'd love to make something that you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, during quarantine, let me just tell you guys what I've been doing during quarantine. I have binge watched the entire series of Housewives New York. I just started the OC and I'm on season five, I want to say. I actually haven't watched it in a while. Watched the Ozarks. That was pretty good. Um... And obviously I've been decorating my house. This is, I'm in my guest bedroom, guys. I don't think you guys have seen this room. It's finally kind of done. It's as done as it's going to be until we have kids. Um, because this is going to eventually get turned into a children's room. But it's just, yeah. Um, I just got a bed. Some artwork. I got a table over here. I got a laundry basket over here. I got some pillows that are actually really nice. And I mentioned... I meant to get them for my my bed, but these are queen and we have a king size, but yeah. Um, so I was thinking about doing a um, updated house tour to let you guys know because we have been, I have been buying things and updating things around the house um, since the last time that you have seen the house or anything. Um, so I wanted to do that, maybe an updated favorites because the last video that I posted was my April favorites. Um, obviously my current summer decor, it's not even that great, but it's still kind of cute at the same time. Like I said, like, I've just been like a funk, like I haven't even wanted to decorate and that's been bad. So I have a little something, um, it's also been posted on my Instagram, but I do have like a tear tray that I haven't posted there. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing like monthly videos of what I purchased on Amazon and stuff like that. Um, so just let me let me know what you guys want to see. I'd be more than happy to make videos. I miss you guys. I love you guys so much. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope it gives you more of an explanation of what's going on. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.